This video is brought to you by Ridge. Ridge is giving huge discounts for their Father's Day 2024 sale. Click the link in the description or go to ridge.com slash full mount and get up to 40% off some of your favorite products across the website. The UFC 302 is just wrapped up. Here is your full mount MMA recap. To kick off the main card, Randy Brown defeated Eliseu Uzaleski via unanimous decision. Randy Brown is now on a three-fight winning streak. Sam Alvey reacted saying new gloves and three eye pokes in one fight. Uh, everything was different. It was nothing like I expected it to be, to be honest. I thought I thought I was going to go in there and smoke him, you know, but obviously crafty vet, you know what I mean? So I was prepared for anything, so I uh, made the adjustments. I wasn't prepared to break my toe on that first front kick again. That happened. That's two fights now. Um, so yeah, it happened, I had to make the adjustments and we made it do what it do. Nico Price defeated Alex Morono via unanimous decision. MMA Roasted reacted saying, can't wait to watch the rematch in BKFC next year. Dylan Danis says Dana White should cut both these bums. And Jamal Hill says, not ending this fight when your opponent is this tired is sad. Kevin Holland defeated Mihalo Luxaychuk via armbar in the first round. It appeared that Kevin snapped his arm. Mike Perry said, congratulations, Kevin Holland. That's twice now you got a dub and shook hands with Donald Trump. Big time stuff, man. Chris Curtis reacted saying, man really subbed himself. Michael Bisping says he didn't tap though. Derek Brunson reacted saying, Holland fighting style has multiple personalities and I don't trust any of them. Jamal Hill says, blunt bro time, let's f***ing go. And Michael Chandler says, yeah, that arm is toast. And here was Randy Brown's reaction to the arm bar live during his post-fight interview. Oh my God. Kevin Holland has him in an armbar about to break that Please, don't, just tap, just tap. He got dropped right before it too, Kevin did. Kevin got dropped, to, oh damn. Oh! Oh, that's broken. That's a broken arm, he tapped. Oh. Look like a tap to me, no? Yeah, we go with the flow. Dude landed a good shot. I ended up on my back. He came in aggressive. You know, they said don't be in quicksand. I put him in quicksand. Yeah, I was like, bro, you feel that? And he wouldn't say anything. So then I was like, Herb. Herb was like, you gotta wait till he taps. And I was like, that. Somebody better get this full up off me. His arm about to break. So I'm happy they stopped it when they stopped it because nobody needs to be injured super bad. You know, it's like we fight for a living and the only way to fight again is to be healthy. I'm the best gatekeeper there'll ever be. <laughs> and I accept that. For the co-main event, Sean Strickland defeated Paulo Costa via split decision. Aaron Bronstetter says fans are getting restless as the co-main event trends towards the ninth decision of the event. Bilal Muhammad says 300 push kicks. He followed up with they're gonna act like Strickland is crazy because the last three seconds. Kenny Florian says, LOL at the judge who gave it 49-46 for Costa. Not today, Satan. Jalen Turner says split decision. Rampage Jackson says one of the judges in the Strickland Costa fight was Donald Trump. I want to fight for the belt. Hey, I was a company man. I fought a rank seventh guy. Give me it now. I, I did it for you guys. Give me that title shot. Ridge is making gift giving easier than ever with their Father's Day 2024 sale. Get up to 40% off some of your favorite products across the website. Ridge continues to be the number one wallet and they just got even better. Ridge wallets are now more secure and convenient than they've ever been with MagSafe compatibility and security, meaning you can attach your wallet to your iPhone. Already have a Ridge wallet? You can upgrade your existing wallet to be retrofitted into a MagSafe Ridge wallet by swapping the outer plates. The Ridge MagSafe wallet plates use strong, high-quality magnets embedded into the front wallet plate to securely attach to the back of any MagSafe-compatible iPhone. The Ridge MagSafe wallet features RFID blocking materials to keep your personal information safe and secure. They are also crafted using durable premium materials such as aluminum and carbon fiber, providing excellent protection while remaining lightweight and comfortable to carry. They have a unique slim design and have over 50 plus colors and styles to choose from, including their new high dive blue wallet and key case kit. The key case kit reduces key jingle and it's a durable slim way to carry keys. So click the link in the description or go to ridge.com slash full mount and pick up Ridge products at up to 40% off for their Father's Day 2024 sale. And for the main event, Islam Makhachev defeated Dustin Poirier via Darce Choke in the fifth round. All Conor McGregor said was, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Conor McGregor, 
Ariel Hawani reacted saying Islam retained. He submits Dustin in the fifth via Darce after a wild fight and a wild final exchange. And still, Andre Feely says what a beautiful fight. Brian Ortega says three title fights, three submissions. Good job champ. Dustin, you are a legend. You're a dog brother. Aljamain Sterling reacted saying great finish from Islam and he showed a lot of grit against a very determined Poirier. I had a 2-2 going into the fifth round. Great fight from both men. Alan Joban says he fought good, fought off the takedowns as much as he could, and created a lot of opportunities on the feet. Can't be disappointed with that performance. Dominic Cruz says Darce choked finish for Makachev. Dustin's legacy only grows. Epic matchup and rivalry for the books. Adrian Yanez says forever a Dustin Poirier fan, a great representative of MMA. Kenny Florian says Dustin Poirier is still the man and a champion in life. What a legend DP is. Makachev is just too good though. The Russian earned some scars to show for it though. And Cub Swanson says that was a great fight. Congrats to both guys. It's my dream. I want to fight for the second belt. I want to feel that energy again. Because when you defend your belt, it's not the same. I need new one. And I'm not 100%, but if this is my last fight, I uh, wanted to dedicate this journey to the, the people who may be the man I am. And that's the women in my life. Conor McGregor was out partying again. Conor versus Michael Chandler goes down in four weeks. Paulo Costa posted this after the fight against Sean Strickland tonight. He wrote, after all, I'm okay. Sean hard style to fight against, but I think I did well three of five rounds. Oh, bruises. What the f Okay. But I'm okay. Thank you all. <sighs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm sad, but I will be back. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Whitney Allen. It says, please feed Buckley to Shavkat. The second one's from Zach H420. It says, MVP roasting Ian Gary was great. Welcome to the club, MVP. And the final one's from Libertarian Punk. It says, LOL BBL Gary. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.